Well, welcome back, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dogecast. I'm going to try to spitfire through all the good news today and just give you a little bit of insight on what's going on. The crypto market is looking really good right now. I, I want to buy some more crypto, but it's just going up so much each day, and I don't think that's going to stop. It is very possible by the end of December, actually more than likely, that we will see a 50 cent Dogecoin with other cryptocurrencies going up dramatically as well. In addition, I want to thank all of the new members and all of the older members not so old it's only been about 10 days since i've opened up membership on this channel you guys are awesome the discussions and the comments you are all making on the very first members only video was very cool if you were not able to see that video it's because you're not a member if you want to become a member i am going to be making exclusive content where i will show you what i am trading in my personal portfolio in addition if I make any trades, if I buy or sell anything, I will always post that to my members only. If you have been a member of this channel, you have not seen a buy or a sell post yet because I haven't bought or sold anything within the last uh, five or six days. But if I do tomorrow or the next day, you will see that notification. If that's something you want to see, consider becoming a member. This is huge. As reported by Bitcoinist, you can see the title there. Survey shows 55% of of 100 world's top banks have exposure to Bitcoin and other crypto. As I scroll down, you can see here the blockchain market intelligence research place Citigroup, Barclays, and Goldman Sachs among high ranked backers of cryptocurrencies and blockchain companies. The block data research also identified BNP, Paribus, and JP Morgan as perpetual invest investors in emerging firms. We are seeing banks across the world adopting this, in addition, shifting the assets of their investors and their banks into cryptocurrencies. That's why we're seeing things like this. This is actually the candle chart for Bitcoin through Coinbase. And you can see, yes, we had that downturn in May, but we were telling you to hold on and hold tight. We are seeing a healthy crypto market. And of course, now things are beginning to shift back up. So we're in a good place. And with world banks accepting this and also themselves investing into cryptocurrency, you're in the right spot. This was reported by Business Insider today. The chief market analysis at a charting software firm, Trendspider, shares the technical indicators that tell him Bitcoin and Ether are set to rise to all-time highs in the next five months. That's by the end of the year. I have been seeing the same trend as well in particular in Ethereum, but I believe Bitcoin can do it as well. I think Ethereum might hit 5,000 or more. This is huge for Dogecoin as well, because if a crypto market is healthy, Dogecoin's potential is there and it will rise right along with it. And it might even have bumps that will supersede some of the other crypto assets out there because Dogecoin's getting that 1.21 upgrade, transaction speeds going faster, transaction fees going lower. And in the article, they are reporting exactly what we are seeing in July after months of a long slump and have mostly kept up their momentum into the this month. Since August 1st, Bitcoin is up 14%, Ether is up 23%, Binance Coin is up 12%, and Dogecoin is probably up maybe even 29, 30% because it's had some massive jumps in the last week. Also big news, as reported by Forbes, you can see here Cardano's ADA becomes the third largest cryptocurrency overtaking Binance Coin and Tether. That means now Bitcoin is the biggest, Ethereum number two, and Cardano number three. Cardano is doing this because they have a big upgrade coming and a report today. There was to be an announcement today on Friday the 13th that may have already have happened. I haven't looked into it. I'm, I'm assuming that they've done it already, but you can see it has become the third largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. It in particular competes with Ethereum and there's some upgrades they're doing. I did want to talk about this as well. CNBC, nearly all of the 600 million stolen in the huge crypto heist has been returned. We talked about this yesterday. 600 million was stolen in cryptocurrency. But the good thing about this is that if any money is stolen, any crypto is stolen, the individual who does steal it cannot actually take the money or transfer it into their own account or anywhere because if they do they will immediately be identified and that is what happened in this case the individual was able to take the cryptocurrency by something that they were able to find a way to get in there but they can only either return it or not and they are deciding to return it so that is a good thing so let's go ahead and take a look at Doge on the day. You can see it is up almost 5% today on the week. Doge is up 35.19%. You can see on the month, it is up 42.63%. Yes, it had fallen quite dramatically earlier, and now we are rebounding. That is true. But these gains we've seen in the last month and the last week are very good, and it is indicating a healthy crypto market. And this is exactly where to be. You want to be holding at this point. You can see we've now curved back up. 
up. We're on an, a pretty good incline. Even if we go horizontal, this is a good time to be in cryptocurrency. I'm not sure how many buy opportunities we're going to have. Again, uh, as crypto goes up, it's not really a buying opportunity. It's sort of like a just sailing with it opportunity. But if it dips down pretty heavy again, there might be some more buying opportunities. But we have we may have seen the buying opportunities pass us by, which could be a sad thing because the buying opportunities where you really get your investment in there at the lower end and just kind of watch things rise up. You can see Ethereum is up 5.42% today. So just a bit higher than Dogecoin and Bitcoin is up 5.65% today. So everything is looking good across the board because the news is really good. I think we're going to have an excellent fall and winter coming up. Thank you for coming along with me. You guys are awesome. As always, again, if you want to become a member, become a member. I'm going to stop the announcement. I'm going to stop the membership announcements soon, but I just want to make sure everyone who really wants to be a part of getting a little bit more technical data and, and the insider trading stuff from at least me that you in fact do that. So consider it. There's a join button below. You guys are great. As always, I will catch you next time.